Hey guys, it's dark out, and that's right, you're coming with me on another walk with my dogs. So, there they are, and the team event has just started. So, it's gonna be my first game. I've opened up one of my boosters that I've got ready, and here we go. Another Deox is gonna be in the second Dio team that I've faced with this deck. So, and this one looks like a, a definitely a better one. Um, I'm not saying the other one was bad, but this guy has higher rating and he's got Lunala, which is scary in itself. So, I am just gonna start by kicking off my Phantom. He's gonna do his Cosmo. Um, he's got two speeds, so I've got no need to start positioning up. Um, yeah, so just waiting for him to, there we go, activate his plate and now that he's activated his plate um, I'm probably gonna send out Toad first um, and then I'm guessing he's gonna match me with his DOA uh, that's how most DO, DO users go and no he doesn't want to have a bar of it, so I'm just going to put my Crobat out, if he wants to go in for a tech and he gets his 20 or I get my blue, it would have been a surround for him. But now he gets his DOA out, so I can't just attack freely, but I still can with Leo. And that's a great thing about, this is another reason why I've got Leo in my deck rather than Mimikyu. Although I'd love to have Mimikyu in here, you can't do this with Mimikyu. It's just added help. Um, <laughs> hope you guys can hear me. It's a wee bit noisy with dog barking and a few noisy vehicles coming past, but um, you can't do that with Mimikyu. Um, Leo just adds extra bit of defense. So I'm just going to set him out here, get my defenses set now. At least I've got extra mon back so DOAs just can't run down everywhere. I do have a scoop up, I could potentially scoop up that. Uh, that uh, speed, but I'm just going to defend for now. So probably get my Mega Gengar out, so I can Mega Gengar at some stage and potentially look to surround him. That's what I want to do. Um, he's got a max revive, so okay. I was kind of expecting him to run down at my other entry. If he did, I would have attacked with Leo, but then I would be opening it up. So I'm glad he didn't. And he's just dropping everything now, so, okay, to be expected. Um, and because he's dropping everything, I'm going to as well. Now that I've got Delphox out, and there's no, I don't think he's going to come after my Delphox, even if he match revives his speed, I don't think it's that favourable matchup for him. So I want to use my plates now. And Mega Gengar, if I can go up, take out one of these DOAs, even give the Noxious, like that that'll that'll be working amazing. I'd love to set up a surround on one of his mons. Ah the dodge. The dodge. So there we go. It's gonna be a dodge fest instead like like my last one with the DOs. Okay. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if he if he didn't move his DOA. Or his DOD. Oh snap. And it looks like now my opponent has, does not realize that <laughs> there's no point respinning, he's going to stay safe either way. So he gets his DOD to the goal, but if he didn't move his DOD in the first place, I wouldn't have been able to take that corner without getting surrounded. Um, so, yes, he's defending his goal, but hey, I want to set up a little surround on that speed now. If I can get my Crobat into that corner, and then I can pull my Gengar back and surround it, that's what I want to do. Um, I kind of want to sort of take him out though while I've got me Gengar here because ah, another dodge, another dodge. Um, because I want to make the most of it while I've got me Gengar, taking a DOA off the field will help tremendously. Um, and now he's going to go after my Gengar. Uh, all I can hope for is more of that purple and blue Oh, he gets the slip and I get the dodge again. Oh, and <laughs> purple to blue. What are with DOAs against my deck recently? 
um, deer rays are just constantly slipping, which is good. Now, if they can do that one more time, then I'm going to get a banish. And I hope I can. I haven't got a banish in that, on the deer in a long time. So, here we go. <laughs> Another deer slip. Come on, one more, one more slip, miss, or blue. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And, oh, he's really spitting me, just trying to stay on the field. Um, even if he stayed on the field, I would still be taking the banish. <laughs> I would give up my positioning for the banish, definitely. Boom, look at that. See that deer fly away. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is amazing. Oh, and the forfeit one, he doesn't even want to play anymore. Oh, this guy, he's just like so defeated after his deer slips. So, I mean, his deer slipping saved him. Um, when I was Mega Genia, and then he just gives up when it doesn't save him. <laughs> but I get the Sparkle Brewster, that is awesome. My first Brewster, I saw one guy, which I'll make a quick video, um, who got his first Sparkle and gemmed it open and got a red Gorodos. And I'll get those screenshots for you guys and make a quick video. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. And we'll see you all soon. I've got my daddy to open this, so let's just see what I get. Um, AI tickets because I don't have an inventory full of them. Alright, gems. I'll definitely use those gems for enhancers this team event. And guys, use enhancers. The EX Cube is worth 30 gems or more. Um, you're spending 500 gems for a potential 1 EX on a 10 pack. So I definitely think a, a EX Cube is worth 100, 200 gems. Definitely. So. Hopefully you guys you guys enjoy this episode. That video banish, I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this team event and get those good rewards. I'll let you know what I get and see you all soon. And look at this red Gardas F Y Z. As soon as the team event started, got a sparkle booster, popped it open with gems, and got this. How amazing! Big props to him. Hope you guys enjoyed that. The first one. I wish it was mine. <laughs> see you guys soon.